Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a first impression on this Too Faced Natural Palette. This is the eye look. You'll actually see me do basically a full face of makeup. And I am using today some first impression tips and tricks from a makeup artist named Faye Sturgis who is in the UK. So some of this new technique is by Faye. So Faye, thank you very much. Your tips and tricks worked amazing. I can't wait to watch more of your live videos so I can learn some more stuff and ask questions because you did a fantastic job. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all your tips and tricks. So for my YouTube audience, I hope you love what Faye taught me how to do today. Um, just ignore this. Whew, what a mess I have under here. My eyes are watering. Yay! Anyways, Faye's tips and tricks really did a great job. So hopefully you will enjoy those. And I just want to say hello to my number one YouTuber, Miss Sis. Hi, Miss Sis. Hope you are having a great day. And um, I hope all my YouTube audience enjoys this video. So get ready. Here we go. Okay, so today I'm going to do some first impressions or I'm going to try some things I've seen on the internet. Mm-hmm. I am. So a lot of most possibly, there's several. How about several things I'm going to try today that I learned on the internet? And we're going to see how well I do. Um, so I want to thank Faye Sturges for her live video today. Um, I wish I knew what day it was. It's the end of April, but by the time I video this or edit it, it's going to be a long time. So anyways, Faye did an online uh, live video on Facebook, so look her up, Faye Sturges. She does an amazing job, and today I learned some new things that from her techniques as a makeup artist that does a lot of brides that should make my life easier. So I got a first impression palette from the Too Faced Natural Matte, so we're going to use this today, and it's got all kinds of lovely colors. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt some of Faye's stuff. So Faye, if I bomb, it's not because of you. And then I have an eyelash curler tip that I'm gonna try. I wish I remembered what YouTuber name that was from, but um, I hope you enjoy that. So Faye says, I'm gonna do what Faye says, because Faye's awesome. It's my goal one day to go to Britain and meet her, or the UK. We're going to use the color Heaven, and she said using one of these little spongy kind of techniques, and Miss Faye, I did have one. I didn't have to buy it. <laughs> I just had to dig a little bit. Is a great way to put down your base because the sponges hold a lot of the product so you don't get a lot of fallout like you would from a brush. And with one that looks like this, you've got four sides to do four colors. And so far, I like that bit of her tutorial because it does look like I'm getting good payoff from the sponge technique. So I'm not even sure how Faye and I came across each other. I think she may have found my YouTube channel and then we've just kind of developed a friendship from there. So now I we ended up becoming Facebook friends, and so now I get a chance to watch her do makeup. So it's been a lot of fun. Okay, next, next. So there's so many pretty colors in this palette. Let me turn it. There's so many pretty colors in this palette. I'm just not sure. I mean, they're all neutral. I love me some neutral. All right, let's go with some less is more. And if any of you guys have watched the movie Waiting for Gump, there is less, less is more acting. But I'm not sure that there are a lot of people that would know Waiting for Guffman. It's a funny, funny movie. Well, it's dry. Like, the first time, I have to be honest, the first time I watched Waiting for Guffman, I was like, I can't believe I wasted this part of my life that I can't get back. Oh my gosh. 
But then I watched it again. Don't ask me why, since I hated it the first time. But then I start getting the humor. Like everything I missed the first time, I start getting the second time. And then, you know, when you get one of those classic kind of dry humor movies, it just makes it, I don't know, it just, cr it, it just gets under your skin and then you end up liking it. Okay, so before I go very far with my eyes, I do want to do another technique so you can kind of see this. And this is the one I eat found from the other YouTuber. So, because I want to see before my eye, my I start building up my eyes, because you know I've got to have everything dark. No surprise, she took a hair dryer and her curler, and she heated it up. So we're gonna heat it up. I'm probably heating it way more than it needs to. She said, put it against your hand to make sure you're not gonna burn yourself. And you can kind of get close to the lash line and hold for say 10 seconds. If you want to go a little bit further out, because I know some women kind of go towards the lash line and then they work their way out. So we're gonna, hopefully I worked my way out. We'll see how well this does on me. Testing YouTube ideas, part one. Okay, on the lady, <laughs> it looked like it worked. On me, let's get close to these eyes. I don't know that it really curled my eyelashes. And here I was thinking I got this new nifty trick because I can't really tell a difference between these eyelashes and my normal ones. So maybe heating doesn't really make a difference. Tell if you guys have ever heated your eyelash curler and it worked and you got a bigger curl than I did, let me know what you did because it really doesn't look like it worked on me. Now we're gonna zoom out. And maybe I'm, which I can't imagine that I'd be blessed, but maybe I just have eyelashes that curl up naturally. Well, that's a bummer. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye just for fun now. So don't burn your eyes and then come to me and say, Amy, it's your fault I burnt, you burn my, my eyes. No, I'm saying don't heat it up. Put it against your hands and make sure it's not too hot that your eyes can't handle it. So there, there's my disclaimer. Boom. I don't know why I'm feeling saucy today. But I can't believe that didn't work on the lady on the YouTube. It was just awesome. So I thought I had some new trick. No, this is why testing stuff, even though someone says that it works great, you still gotta do it yourself. All right, we're gonna go in as sex expert. Cause that was an absolute letdown. Oh, I messed up. Hold on a second. I'm gonna switch a brush because Faye's other tip, Okay, so Faye says to take one that is angled like this. Now I'll put that in a sex spurt, except hers wasn't this fat. I'm digging through my like brushes I never use. It's amazing what you'll find in there. I'm not finding any more angled ones, and I swear I had a bunch of them. All right, well, we'll go back to face tip. So she said to take the angled ones and it really helps you build up that outer C or V. And then you kind of just bring that in also. And it helps you define your eyes without needing tape. So, there we go. I think I need a smaller one, a smaller angled brush. I know I've got one. It's probably, I've got some more brushes back there that I don't use a lot. All right, so we're gonna blend. Yeah, you blend. And we're gonna go back in with the less is more. And blend out that sex spurt a wee bit. Okay, so I used two of Faye's tips and I've got another one I'm looking forward to trying. So I've got my outer uh, C, V, E, F, G, and I'm gonna pick up some of this color here called cleavage. And what woman doesn't like a little cleavage? Or should I say what man doesn't like a little cleavage? Or both.
All right, so I'm just actually trying to build in some color here. I've totally forgot this other eye in the process. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use that angled brush again and pick up this color called Risky Biz. I'm not gonna go as far over as I did previously. Now we're gonna blend. Always think of the movie My Cousin Vinny. Yeah, you blend. So I do want sparkle, but I'm gonna go ahead and try one of her tricks in a moment. In a moment. So I'm gonna pick up this color Nude Goals. Nude Goals. Yes, Nude Goals. And I'm gonna go right up underneath. Oh, look at that. She does say that the sponge applicators hold more color. Well, there we go. This palette doesn't, it's got a smell. It's not quite chocolate, but not quite good. Don't ask me how that works. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up the nude goals all over the spongy applicator. And she was telling me this makes an easier way of doing a cut crease without going through a lot of drama. And I will say, she's right, this is really holding a lot of product. Check that out. Normally I gotta carve, blah, blah, blah. And I just carved it out with a little old sponge applicator. Okay, that is absolutely awesome. So tip number two, or was that one? Whatever tip number from Faye, that, that did work. It gave me a nice little cut crease without having to cut it out first. Nice, Faye! I'm gonna pick up some more of that cleavage. All right, we're gonna try to not butcher this next one. So I'm gonna say this is the next Faye tip and I might butcher this one. Like, she got me all excited about trying it, but I didn't think I was gonna try it this quick on a camera. So if this doesn't work, don't blame her. Blame me. She said, take one of these little fine ones, fine brushes. All right, this should get interesting. On, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the Risky Business. And she said, I don't know if it works necessarily on my eyes, but to get a good wing, she kind of pulled her eye flat. And she said to kind of carve it out first with some eyeshadow or an old, like, eye pencil. I can kind of see why she used an old eye pencil. For some reason, I'm having trouble, but it gives kind of that darker look there. And I'm gonna have to blend more. I got a hot mess going on. All right. I don't think really this part is my issue as much as this part. Okay, so that's supposed to give me kind of a guide. Now I'm gonna take this little spongy applicator because I wanted to try something my own self. My own self. This is from Portables by Essence Beauty. All right, I'm gonna take some of that Risky Biz. I was wondering if I used a sponge applicator for the bottom line, if it would do better not pushing or flicking up the eyeshadow. So I guess in a way this is a Faye trial. So when she was saying how the blush brushes flick up the product, 
with my sensitive eyes, that's not always good. So for that darker color, I did want to try that. And so far that looks, it looks all right. But now I'm going to go in with cleavage again and make my way below that. I guess maybe I should have started out with cleavage on this sponge. Maybe I should have thought about that. So this is almost kind of a purpley nudish or mauve nudish color. Hmm. So I'm trying to figure out what eyeliner I want to pick up to go over for my little flicky flick. My problem is my, with my eyes, they're so... This is kind of flat, but then this goes... It's like the McDonald's arches. I'm going to try this one that I got from Hush Cosmetics free. It really has done pretty well overall. I'm going to take my trusted mirror that really zooms in because I need all the help I can get. Okay, so now I've got at least a coat of mascara on. My husband just came in and said, oh, you've got 15 minutes to be fully ready. What? Okay, so now we're gonna see how fast I can go. And i be ready in 15 minutes with hair. I love my husband. So I'm upstairs. He goes, well, I text you. Well, that's nice. But guess what? My phone is charging. So texting me did nothing to tell me that I'm now running way late. And mama don't like to run late. That's his job. You know what? Since it is his job, I shouldn't feel guilty. Okay, this is the Makeup Revolution in C4. I'm trying different colors. This one looks a little bit more like it's going to fit my skin. The other one is super white, although it's kind of fun to have, you know, some bright white going on that's brighter white than my skin. Now he's stressing me out. I'm stressing out, guys. I'm stressing out. I don't like to stress. Mama don't like to stress. Okay, we're going to add the studio makeup. And Miss Faye, I will say your tidbit about the wing really did work. And I was able to, even though I was slightly off, my wings looked at first a bit more like cousins instead of like sisters. I got them looking like sisters. Now look, he got it. He got it. I got it in my eyebrow. I've never baked before. I guess I'm baking tonight. I don't like to be rushed. Let's get that out of that eyebrow. Oh, oh. Now I'm dropping things. I'm going to use the color Dallas. Because we're going to get them apples. Oh, one of other face tricks is to do a little bit on the nose. Not to look like Rudolph. Although it does right now because I've got a still have powder on. Which was a nice trick. Because she likes to do that before she puts on a... Highlight. So the highlight we're going to use here is Forever Young. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette. So she does that and then, wait, hold on, let me get the other cheek. And then because she's used a bit of the blush on the nose, she'll, when putting that on, it doesn't look, it looks more blended. So that is yet another face surges makeup designer for the brides look. I'm going to go with the color Sweet Tea from Morphe. And then I'm going to pick up the color Sleepless, I believe from Dose of Colors, which doesn't really match the lip liner now, because I'm in a rush. 
I'm not matching. Okay, okay. So how we looking? How we looking? Oh, I didn't put regular powder on. I'm using the Fit Me. And then for gloss, I'm gonna use a Smashbox gloss. This is in Petal Metal. So there we go, because I've got to have some metallic. So that's going to be my finished look. I'm probably not, well, maybe I'll film it and exit. I don't know. I got to go. I got to go do my hair. It's almost date night. I'll see you in a minute. Thank you so much for watching this video using the natural matte palette. Malt. Malt. The natural matte palette by Too Faced. So use this as a first impressions and use some makeup artist by the name a face surges, makeup things, tips, tricks, best practices, and they worked. They worked. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a great one. Until next time.